In elementary school, that was the first time that I'd heard the name Tanner Varner, but it wasn't until I was a freshman in high school that I actually got to know Tanner. Being a manager on the football team, I often had to find my way to the practice field, but I rode with Tanner most of the time. And this car was always one of the easiest to find because it was bright red with a custom license plate that read TD Varn. Tanner played his high school career for a Tumble legend, Tom Kapadich, playing in 2000 and 2001, where the Bulldogs were the Metro Conference champs and competed in the high school playoffs both seasons. In 2001, Tanner earned Des Moines Register Elite All-State honors as a defensive back, first team All-Four State, All-CML Conference, first team All-Metro, and INA Class 4A State Second Team Defense. He ranked second in the state in punt returns with a 20.8 average, also caught 23 passes for 471 yards and three touchdowns, recorded 97 tackles with six interceptions, and was even awarded the Ottumwa A Club Outstanding Athlete of the Year. After two seasons at Ellsworth, he transferred to play for our U University of Northern Iowa Panthers from 2004 to 2005, and in this senior season, recorded 85 and a half tackles, three interceptions, and earned all Gate All American and All Gateway Conference honors, while being named the Panthers' most valuable defensive player and anchored a defense that would lead the Panthers all the way to a national title game that year, a game they eventually lost to the Appalachian State team. In 2007, Tanner was an All League defensive back with the Arena Football Two League Arkansas Twisters. He finished third on the team with 83 and a half tackles and was named Defensive Player of the Game three times. He led the team with nine interceptions and forced two fumbles. Werner played for the Iowa Barnstormers in two, from 2008 to 2010, and in 2008 and 2009, the Iowa Barnstormers were in Arena Football 2, a sidestep of Arena Football. But then in 2010, they came back to Arena Football as the Arena Football 2 league disbanded. In 2008, he ended the season with the Barnstormers, leading them in tackles with 91 and 7 interceptions. The 2009 season, he again led the team in tackles with 119 and a half, 8 interceptions, 2 forced fumbles, and 3 fumble recoveries. And in 2010, in the AFL, Varner set an, a an AFL rookie record for t tackles in a season with 129 and a half, also a Barnstormers record. He earned first team all arena honors and also ranked the lead, uh, fourth in the league with eight interceptions, returning two for touchdowns. In 2011, Tanner was signed to the Ron Jaworski owned and formerly John Bon Jovi owned Philadelphia Soul. He recorded 45 tackles, intercepted five passes, forced a fumble, and returned two interceptions for touchdowns, seven games of the Soul, before spending the rest of the season with the Omaha Nighthawks of the United Football League and eventually was traded to the Kansas City Command and then again to the San Jose Sabercats in the AFL. In the, in the AFL with the Sabercats, he recorded 63 tackles, two sacks, two forced fumbles, two fumble recoveries, and three interceptions in only 12 games. In 2013, Tanner signed with the Orlando Predators and his first season he didn't see much playing time, but in his second season with the team... In 2014, he, re he received first-team All-Arena honors yet again after recording 68 tackles and five interceptions in 18 games. But that's where this story gets interesting, because this year he was selected in the expansion draft for the newly crowned Las Vegas Outlaws that are owned by none other than M former Motley Crue lead, lead singer Vince Neil. He was the first pick in the 2014 expansion draft, and after two games, has 13 tackles. Their second game of the season was a 70-54 upset of the 2014 Arena Football Champion Arizona Rattlers, and it was the first win for the franchise, and it also had a record in that game. There was two missed field goals for touchdowns in that game. Pretty cool. Varner's the most prolific Panther to play arena football since the legendary Kurt Warner, who, upon graduating from UNI in 93, eventually turned to the Arena Football League in 95, signing with the Iowa Barnstormers. Warner was named to arena football's first-team all-arena 
in both 96 and 97 after leading the Barnstormers to the Arena Bowl in both seasons. And in 98, he signed with the St. Louis Rams, and, well, you know the rest. The rest is history. So from Warner to Varner, you and I, Panthers, have excelled playing in the Arena Football League, and even though it may not be the NFL, it is a nice place for players to continue their careers, and sometimes it can even be a stepping stone for better things. I know from personal experience with the guy that Tanner Varner will continue to do great things, whether it be on the field or off. For the Prowl, I'm Ian Shohanek. <laughs>